Welcome back to the channel, y'all. Uh, if you've read the title or followed the link, you know this is an update video for the 2022 Great Plains Buick Challenge. August 26th, 7th, and 8th, Kearney, Nebraska, Kearney Raceway Park. Um, for those of y'all that may be coming that have never been before, 4860-4860. Imperial Avenue is the address that you put in your maps or locator or GPS or whatever you want to do. That's how, That'll get you to the track. Uh, I got a couple things to talk about, but first let's run down this sponsors list again. Uh, these are the folks that make this happen, and we need to recognize them and use their services as much as possible, obviously. Southwest Feeders, Randy Messengers in Hay Center, Nebraska. High Torque Racing Auto Body, Mike Garrison in Topeka. No, that's not in Topeka, that's in Meriden. Uh, High Torque the Upholstery Shop that Mike owns with... Um, Nick, can't remember his name, Mike, I'm sorry. That's in Topeka. JM Kane Trucking, <laughs> Inc., LLC, whatever, contractor, I don't know. Joe Kane, Sock Center, Minnesota. Low Skills Knot Rods, Nick Beerley, Atwood, Kansas. Hometown Market, Bird City, Kansas, Chris and Andrea. Lopez Construction and Landscaping, Enrique Lopez, St. Francis, Kansas. Goodland Machine, John Proviance, Goodland, Kansas, Calicrate Manufacturing, Tegan Calicrate, Wheeler, Kansas, Johnson Body Shop, Randy Johnson, St. Francis, Kansas, Atwood Liquor, Larry Aldridge, Atwood, Kansas, Finish Line Motorsports, Bob and Amy, in Hastings, Michigan, Classic Performance and Repair, that's Chris and I, and McDonald, Restore Weatherproofing, Dave Fowley, in uh, Topeka, Kansas. Seems like there's somebody that's not on that list. Oh, hell. Okay. Uh, also, real quick, down the, the track crew, I, I found, I've found i been hanging on to this list, Joe and Nicole. Um, these are the people that work at the track that make our day happen. Dan Hadley, Jaden, Chris, Daniel, Kale, Ansley, Nancy Wayne, Brenda, Jared, and Chad, Doug, and obviously Joe and Nicole, the co-managers, real managers, whatever. Good job, Nicole. I saw you riding the tractor around. You're expanding your uh, resume, I see. That's cool. Uh, those are the people that make this happen. Uh, our sponsors and the tractor. We need to thank them every chance we get. Okay, changes. What uh, What isn't going to change? For the challenge, the belt class. Winner's going to leave with $1,000. Runner-up, 500 bucks. Semi-finalists are going to get 250 bucks a piece. J uh, Harold has still is our sponsor for the perfect light all day in a Buick uh, deal. That's that tool kit that I've been toting around for two or three years now. Nobody's won it. I know Steve got close. A couple guys got real close uh, last year. Also this year, again, uh, Randy Messenger's Tree Chopper Award, best reaction time during eliminations. Uh, it's gonna get you the ax trophy and a $100 bill. And distance travel. Uh, it'll help with fuel a little bit, I hope. Maybe get you a meal, or whatever you wanna use it for, it's $100. Whoever comes the longest, uh, the, the farthest distance away, you're gonna get a $100 bill. Uh, on my notes here, start time we did move it up a couple hours. I've talked about that. That'll hopefully uh, get us to outrun the the later night. Yet, yeah, granted, it's cool, but the dew sets in, and hopefully we'll get a little moisture rolling around this area. We are smack dab in the middle of a drought, and this recession isn't helping anything. But uh, moving it up a couple hours, I'm going to pay for that myself. Uh, we will play it by ear that morning. Joe, obviously the track and the crew, they will tell us when we're going to start and we will start then. But the plan is to move it up a couple hours uh, and get us in started and running a little quicker. Sorry about that. Now, news. For those of you that have been following, we tried to build, tried past tense. We tried to build Bob and Amy at finish line agreed to put up a good amount of money if we could build a small tire heads up class it's not going to happen 
I have contacted the guys. I've talked to, obviously, texting and phone calls with the guys that had committed and couldn't fill the field. So, not I've, I've told you before, said it in the past, I'm not going to make... I'm not going to make finish line pay for a class that I couldn't fill. I've talked to Bob. He, obviously, they are still on board as a sponsor. They were on the list that we just went down. Uh, they're still going to help us out. We're just going to redirect that money into a prize fund for the belt class. Uh, not sure how I'm going to do that yet. Um, but we'll figure it out uh, seems like most of the decisions I make for this thing happens that day so I I gotta figure out I gotta figure out something else something different but anyways t-shirt order t-shirt orders have gone in I think if you aren't on the list I could probably Jennifer would probably add a few to the order I think I know Chris ordered a few extra ones I'm pretty sure, um, but nonetheless, uh, t-shirt order has gone in. I'm sure Jennifer and her entire crew uh, are working on it, and they'll be ready. They'll be there. If we have to ship them to you, that's fine. I got a name on the top of my head. I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to throw him under the bus. He needs to bring his car and pick up his own damn shirt. <laughs> uh, anyways. Barbecue, barbecue. I noticed on the on the on the Facebook page on the group page that Chris put up, ten people, nine and a quarter, I believe, was the total of the people that are that committed to the barbecue. Not including the track personnel, uh, they're always invited, but plans may change with that too. There's no way. with inflation rocketing the way it is this is a large investment for Chris she does this out of her pocket and with the help of Chris and Andrea at the grocery store so I don't know what's gonna happen this is gonna be different uh, shoot I may I, what kind of pizza do y'all eat I, maybe maybe I just take that check and and call a local pizza joint a little home-owned pizza joint and order us up 10 15 20 pizzas I may just do that if y'all ain't got a problem with that let me know I uh, it would be instead of Chris rolling the dice and playing games maybe we help out uh, the local pizzeria or whatever and just order up 15 or 20 pizzas and see if they'll bring them to us at the track uh, Friday night. It would be a lot easier on our end. It would help a local business. And like I said, I will, there has got to be a small business, a small business owner in that town somewhere that makes pizzas. I will support a small business every chance I get. Uh, that would be, that is a very real possibility. But Anyways, that's about it. I need to do an update. I hope y'all are getting ready. With uh, with the heads-up class not going down, the turbos back off this car, springs have all been changed, shocks have all been changed, carburetor's going to go back on it, turn it back into a bracket car. I had a conversation with a buddy of mine not too long ago, and I'm not going to mention any names, but this car really never was supposed to be a heads-up car. Uh, when I first started, I wanted it to be quick. I wanted it to be fun. And really, that thing isn't built. There is a, just a boatload of stuff I'd have to change. So I am going to redirect everything. <laughs> Why not? It's only got to be done in two or three weeks. Uh, I'm going to change everything. Try and get it back into a bracket car frame of mind so that I could maybe run the gambler's race Saturday night um, and stay and run Sunday. That is my plan. I, I've always had misgivings about running an event that I'm supposed to be the promoter at, but don't know. Uh, maybe this year, maybe this year I'll run my event. I don't know if, if the junk is done. Um, 
if not, it'll be done when it's done. And I've, I've got to not try and hurry and make mistakes. But that's about it. I hope y'all are getting ready. I know gas prices don't care. They're still too high. The economy, inflation's through the roof. I understand if some of y'all can't make it. I, there have been several several people have messaged me and called me and and they just they just can't come. And I totally understand that. Um, but we're still going to have the event. It's still going to go down. I still have this entire list of sponsors that have donated for this event or or going to. Uh, and I'm still going to give away their money. Uh, it's still a Buick event. It's still a Buick event in the Midwest at Kearney Raceway Park. We're still going to be there. I don't care if it's four cars or 40 cars. It doesn't matter. I'm going to give away this money. It's not mine. It, the sponsors donated this to the event to give away as prize money. And that is exactly what I will do. So that's it. I guess highlights the address for the track. Hopefully some new folks will show up and come. Uh, address I listed it there at the beginning of the video go back and watch it if you want to uh, to double check if you've been there before you know how to get to the track um, again the heads up class we're gonna pause that we're gonna put that on hold I don't know what's gonna happen to it, it was a great idea I like it it's the kind of racing I like to watch but not enough interest bottom line that was it there was just straight up not enough interest I had four or five four guys, five guys, uh, that were down, uh, that wasn't the deal. The deal was for eight cars. And then we lost one, two, three, three cars to testing breakage. And, and it just started falling apart. So we're not going to do it. It's, it's that easy. It's not hard. We're still going to have the event. It's just going to be like last year. It's going to be a Buick. It's, it's going to be our Buick bracket race. So much many large thanks to all of y'all that one choose to sponsor uh, this deal obviously uh, to Joe Nicole the board and everybody that works at the track thank you appreciate it I appreciate your effort and we haven't even got there yet we're a month out uh, but I'll tell you now I do appreciate everything that you all do and uh, don't be surprised if you like a certain type of pizza, drop it in the comments below because supper, supper, supper Friday night, our little what used to be or is or whatever you want to call it, our social hour, our barbecue, whatever, it may change. Um, it kind of a bold move, but it'd be a heck of a lot easier on a few of us that work behind the scenes trying to make everybody happy it would be easier so you like a certain kind of pizza let me know if i'm gonna order 20 pizzas i'm gonna make sure everybody gets something <laughs> and like i said that yeah the the list showed me nine and a quarter david allen that's real good that's the quarter would be my new grandbaby uh and she can have anything. It's, she can have any damn thing she wants. Uh, and I know a few of you girls, <laughs> you just rolled your eyes and laughed, but you know it's true. Anyways, that's it. That's that's your update. We're a month and a couple days out. I'm going back to work on this car. I got to figure out the front of it and rewire it, build a fuel system, and get back to work. It's Sunday. What else you doing the weekends? You got four. I think it's including this weekend you have four left to get your cars ready still plenty of racing to do if you aren't getting your car ready i hope you're out testing uh i-29 carney great ben julesburg D denver i don't care go test go race go be buick not it's not just once a year it's not just once a year at carney go be a buick guy have fun get your cars ready i will see y'all soon